Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to talk a little bit about underlay and a little trick that you can do. We talked about it in group and I just wanted to show everyone because you might not realize what it does. So let's start off, let's do a rectangle, just something really quick. Just draw out a little rectangle. There we go. Nice enough. Go back to our select key. And what I want you to do, I have my resequence open because I always like that so I can see my parts and I can see right here, you know, that's the square and this tells you what it is and it's a closed shape. So then I want you to click on it twice. And what that does is open up your object properties, which is a great place if you wanted to make some changes, if you wanted to change the pattern, there's a whole bunch of things here. What we wanna to go to is stitching. And on this one, let me just make this a little bit bigger here. On this one, we've selected edge run and a tatami run. Um, I'm gonna change that to zigzag. That's what I prefer and I'm stitching, on a, stitching it on something specific but the one we want to talk about is the edge run now you can change the stitch length if you want but that's not what we're talking about margin from edge is what we want so I'm going to take my true view off and uh, let's uh, zoom in a little bit grab my mouse for this one grab my mouse there we go and what you can do is change the margin from the edge now that's a little bit hard to see so let me see if we can zoom in a little bit better and we can see i see what the problem is i have points on and that makes it difficult to see so i'm just going to take that off if you see all these white dots and you don't want to see them those are needle points so now we can see what we're doing it's a quick fix so let's look zoom in right here and we can see now let's do it again this is the normal setting uh, let's select this it's the normal setting I've got it on wide let's put it back on normal and you can see it's right there up to the edge and if you don't want it close edge run actually is a nice underlay to have because it makes your edges of the stitching nice and sharp you see how it goes right close there so let's change it to wide and you see how far back that moves that's fantastic and then we'll go to medium and that's in between so if you're doing lettering um, hatch sets up most of the lettering itself but if you're doing lettering and you want this moved back a little bit this is how you do it and it's really quick and easy on EMB files files that you create yourself to just move this line a little bit uh, back a little bit and again you can change the stitch length if you want so those are three options that you can use to refine your digitizing even a little bit more here inside hatch embroidery software thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video